Around Charlotte, people versus train collisions are on the rise with the latest happening along the Lynx rail line just a couple of months ago. Tragic and preventable is how Operation Lifesaver describes incidents like those. And Fox 46's chief transportation correspondent Hawker Vanguard tonight is giving us an exclusive look through the eyes of a locomotive engineer. Steel wheels on steel tracks that in the blink of an eye can steal your life. When you're dealing with equipment this big and this this fast or uh, this destructive, you know you don't really typically have small accidents. Uh, when you get hurt in this industry, usually it's a decapitation or you lose a loss of a limb. Stephen Weathers, assistant chief mechanical officer on the Aberdeen, Carolina and Western Railroad, says despite taking every precaution, deadly encounters and collisions are far too often part of the job. We just train our engineers to keep try to keep a watchful eye for people and for cars and try to think about or anticipate their movement, what they're going to do. According to Operation Lifesaver, 13 people from North Carolina were killed in railroad incidents last year. Only one of the 13 died when their vehicle was struck at a crossing. The rest were pedestrians trespassing on the tracks. At the end of the day, there's really not a whole lot you can do uh, to, to stop a moving train. Every three hours in the United States, either a person or a car is hit by a train. First responders say that victims who survive always tell them they never heard the train coming, which is why we wanted to demonstrate to you just how quiet these locomotives are. What you're about to see should not be attempted at home. These videos were made under the strict supervision of the Aberdeen, Carolina and Western Railroad. All right, Mr. Whitley, we're ready on this end. You can bring them ahead when you're ready. All right, young man, come your way. At the controls, railroad veteran Christopher Whitley throttling this locomotive towards us at 20 miles an hour with no horn or bell to replicate the likely chance an engineer wouldn't see a person on the tracks until it's too late. Keep in mind that even at this slow speed, it could take a mile or more to stop that train. Lights, bells, and horns are only used at crossings and on other movement areas. That's why engineers rely on pedestrians and drivers to stay out of the way, to look and listen for oncoming trains. Christopher Whitley says despite that, collisions still happen. It happens way too often. Everywhere, sometime during that trip, you are either got a pedestrian or an automobile that's going to try to get across in front of you every day. I've seen several engineers that they had to quit because the visions they get and you know they almost never complete their tour of duty for that day. The impact of losing a life on the rails devastates the family of a victim but it's also a burden engineers and conductors have to carry with them as well. Christopher Whitley says that the deadly encounters railroaders deal with in their career never truly leave their mind, even after they've left the scene. They always tell you it gets easier. It never gets easy because there's someone who, who's not going home that evening. Some of your more seasoned engin engineers that have done this once or twice, uh, they get kind of used to it, but especially your younger crowd, five to 10 years and under, and it's their first accident or second accident, they don't, they don't always cope with it very well. They have to take a considerable amount of time off work. The train versus human matchup is no game when lives are on the line. The outcome is always certain, always has, always will be for one reason. The train always wins. They have no kind. In Charlotte, I'm Hawker Vanguard. Tough lesson there. A train always wins. Well, the Charlotte area transit system, also known as CATS, wants to hear your thoughts on the gold line. Now, normally people only share their thoughts when they have something negative to say, but now CATS is running an online survey now to get your opinion on the safety of the new line. So please share your thoughts. The survey covers passenger and pedestrian safety. You can go to our website at fox46.com for a link to weigh in.